Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, I was uh, browsing the uh, Twitch Reddit. Um, <clears throat> one of the few Reddits out there that's not on strike. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and um, give it a read. Um, and I, I came across one topic that I haven't seen in a very, very long time. So I thought I would go ahead and do something that I hadn't done in a very, very, very long time is uh, do some commentary on it. <clears throat> I mean, having, uh, having gone through the stealth. Having gone through this myself, having the streamer blues, but before I continue on, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some music in the background. Um, it's going to be D.I.M., um, Steep Sky, Stain Light. <clears throat> so we have some Holy Celestial music going on in the background. Um, it's something I like to play when um, either either I'm a bit depressed or just just some good morning music. Something I like to listen to when waking up. So it's, I thought it'd be worth I thought it'd be uh, worth playing here. So. Okay, so like I said, um, just came across this, came across this uh, forum topic here. Um, a guy named Throwaway TTB777. I'll go ahead and like it again. I've been there many times myself, so I have read every guy that's starting out on Twitch. Um, you could almost, you could almost take the rule book and throw it away. I mean, like, I mean, like you, I've, uh, I've read guides and stuff like that, but after, after streaming for, like, seven, eight years, a lot of the things they tell you don't always work. I guess it's probably the old, an old, an old classic entertainment maxim, for lack of a better word. People are fickle, so, you know, they'll... They'll ignore your, uh, you know, they'll ignore your, your nice, wholesome, nice, wholesome Fortnite stream or whatever, but they'll, they'll turn around and, uh, watch some guy slap the shit out of his wife on, on, on stream. I can't remember his name. It, it happened, like, some odd years ago. There was a guy that actually abused his wife. I think he abused his daughter, too, right on stream, and it got, like, I think it was, like, three or four digits worth of views and followers and stuff. So, like I said, people are pickle. So, I mean, yeah. Don't stream unsaturated games. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle. Post content on other platforms, make streamer friends. Um, kind of iffy. If you got, if, um, if you guys are actually friends and not doing it on any kind of kid pro quo, I could probably maybe seeing this, seeing this working, but a lot of a lot of follow for follow type stuff, you know, sub for sub, etc. So I do, I have made friends over the years that are also streamers. Um, once in a very great while, they'll pop up, or they'll pop in, but that's that's rare. Um, it can kind of help. Um, I stream on Twitch, and I post stuff on YouTube, but again, it's not like I have tens of millions of people uh, checking me out. Not that I'd actually want that, but you kind of get the idea. Viewership is fluctuating, yes. Um, I have ten people watching my stream, other days it's two people, yes. Uh, recently I've been streaming uh, Guild Wars 2, when it doesn't crash, and I'm pretty much getting that now. Uh, especially when I first started streaming it, I had a boatload of people on there checking me out. But after that, it kind of dropped off, so... Uh, apparently I didn't have what they were looking for. I had to finish the stream early because no one was watching. What's the point? I've been there, too. Um, sometimes, uh... There's days when I, uh... There's days when I have bad sleep. And, um... Hang on, I'm trying to get it out. But, uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm starting to nod off or whatever, um, actually having people on, you know, talking to me, chatting with me and stuff like that can actually uh, help me stay on longer. So that can help, that can help too. But yeah, I've, I've been here many times myself. If there ain't nobody on, then it's not much point. And I'm the kind of person that I don't really like streaming games, or I don't 
really don't like playing most games unless I can stream them. It just doesn't feel right otherwise. So, again, I've been here too. Um, I'm not a TikToker. I'm not a YouTube shorter. But yeah, I... I'm not seeing the benefits because for the majority of the time, yeah, it's not worth the effort. And not even 5%. And then it kind of also helps too to not treat people like currency some people act like this you you gotta be I'll, I'm probably gonna be talking more about it later but you you gotta enjoy what you're doing I mean there's there should be synergy there but you have to at the very least enjoy streaming for yourself and not just not just going on for like just for the sole purpose of getting views or like if it's something that you want to do for a living. You know. There was a video I watched some odd years ago. Emperor Lemon put it out. Uh, it's this, I don't know his name. Ring, Wings of Redemption. He's like a big fat guy. He uh, he was streaming League of Legends. Um, at one point he got tired of having a he was basically streaming for a living because it was how he pays his bills to get the views and stuff. And I guess, uh, I think he was literally crying on stream because it got, it got so frustrating. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's... You know, and it's... It, but, yeah, there's, and there's that, too. You're not getting out of it what you're putting into it. <laughs> been doing this for almost seven, eight years. But it, like I said, you also have to do it for you. You know, you also have to you also have to enjoy doing it for yourself. Just five days a week for three hours. Everything I tried isn't working, I have no idea what to do. Um I guess if I uh, God, I want to say the the streaming and content creation universe is a marathon, not a sprint. So, okay, I actually tried this. Call it a really weird nitpick, but. When I tried signing up for Kick, you um, you can't have any periods in your email address. Like what? And I didn't really feel like having to write down a whole brand spanking new email address just for the sole purpose of getting into Kick. So no, they're gonna have to allow uh, they're gonna have to allow periods and email addresses first. Pro again, sounds like a per I mean, it sounds like I'm being a uh, first world nitpicky but you know, it is what it is like I, I've done it before though too I've I have email addresses that I've I was required to make just to access a certain game because I couldn't use my default one and they're they're now sitting around collecting dust in my notepad somewhere so so yeah no more of that on our first week and then um one thing I think is pretty consistent, she probably got six average views on her first. Yeah. Well, I think this probably sounds sexist, but uh, people are more likely to check out women more than more than men, especially if they're hot, especially if they're boob streamers. So, but aside from that, your first week, people love checking out new people. You know, they. I think. They're kind of like me at my job. One of the things that that's burned me out on, on my jobs for so many years is just seeing the same people every day. It gets boring. Excuse me. I think people in general are like that too. Because they, I mean, they flock to the newbies. You put it in there, playing this game for the first time. They all show right up. But after that, 
they just start tapering off. Thinking maybe I'm not cut out to be a content creator. I used to say the same thing. I made a I made a video about this many years ago. Uh, streaming as an introvert. It was another uh, Twitch art. It was another uh, uh, Twitch article. They're they're asking that question too. Um, can introverts be streamers? And I can wholeheartedly say yes, you can. In fact, uh, it's a great outlet for me. Because I don't really talk to anybody else in real life. Uh, family, co-workers, uh, strangers, any, any, I don't really talk a lot outside of streaming, so, so if you're, um, if me, this, this, uh, quiet, introverted person in real life can, uh, you know, cre you know, stream and create content for so many years like I have, you can, if I can do it, you can do it. Shit, shit. <laughs> Been there. I do it to this day. I mean, still work at Walmart. Work the night shift at Walmart, and I'm a streamer and content creator, so... No, I'm talking to you, buddy. I'm one of them. So then, like I usually do, like I usually do, or excuse me, like I've been doing whenever I do these commentary videos, just go on down the line and comment in everybody else's, but I do need to keep this short. Yeah, because I got I got other stuff I gotta do. I got I got other stuff I gotta do tonight, so. It's a transition. It's not a Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't gonna make you ain't gonna make money right at the start. Again, unless you're like a like a boob streamer or something. Oh damn. I average anywhere between eight to twenty eight hundred a month. I could stress it. We're ruling the enjoyment, it, just, it goes back to what up. Uh, it goes back to what I said uh, a few minutes ago. Um, Wings of Redemption. I think that was his name. Um, he's basically creating content for the sole purpose of uh, paying the bills, trying to get the views and stuff. He busted out crying on stream once because because of that. So yeah, something like I'm done making League of Legends videos or something like that. focus more on money than enjoying the game expanding your community yep and that's something else too um I think in the long run it's the regulars that make your stream that it, it, it's like a it's just like retail it's the repeat customers that really that really keep you afloat it's the ones that keep coming back So those are the one. So the regulars are the ones I'd really cherish. I mean, as mean and cynical as it might sound, most of the people that come and go on your stream are just fair weather friends anyway. So, I mean, the regulars that I've had that are let me phrase that the regulars that uh that come on my stream, we've known each other for years. So. So yeah, but uh, even, you know, and then all the others, like I said, they just, they flow through my stream like water. So it just, yeah, I, like I do, I do need to move along. Huh. I have a stream house here and I have a full-time job and it's just going back a couple times a week. And this is something else. Dang. We want to click there. Um, I, in a sense, I kind of had the luxury in this. I had a full-time job for many years before I actually started streaming. I've only been streaming for like seven or eight years now, but I've been working for at least 30, 35 years of my life. So, 
work long before I'm in streaming. So I have a more a more solid foundation, for lack of a better phrase. So it isn't it isn't like I tried to hit the ground running, uh, streaming and content creation, hoping to make money like that, like not even have a job at all, you know, like without any fixed income. I mean, you do that, and yeah, that's a big time gamble. So, you know. It, I mean, streaming, for me, ultimately, is a hobby. Yeah, he kind of said the same thing, too. You gotta make... For me, I would have to make at least two grand a month take-home pay in order, in order for me to stream full-time. Yep. Yeah. And I do remember me saying this for some of my earlier, uh, for my earlier uh, commentary videos. It, you're, when you're when you're doing this solely for money, you kind of put you in the role of a politician. It puts you in the role of a professional ass kisser, because that that's what you know. Politicians are all about getting those votes. Full time streamers are all about getting those views, getting those followers, you know, getting the subs. Um, or in some cases, getting those sponsorships. So, you know, they have to, you know, they have to kiss Raid Shadow Legends' ass now just to make money. You know, they have to suck the dick of Starfleet Star Command. I think that's the name of the game. I get sponsorship offers from them, but always turn them down. But anyway, you know, they have to, they have to kowtow to them now just to, you know, get the money to make ends meet. Beaut hobby, though, yep. He said the same thing that I said too. S streaming and content creation is a marathon, not a sprint. Fun 12 hour stream. Yeah. Fun 12 hour. Yeah, I no way in hell I could do the 12 hour ones. The longest I've ever done was eight hours. I think I've done seven, I've done six or seven hours. Um, but like, as you're hearing right now, I like to play music in the background and I try to do copyright checks on the mute, on the albums I play, but it doesn't always work. There's a few that, uh, for lack of a better phrase, slip through the cracks. And uh, when, uh, when I try to export videos to YouTube, they'll, they'll get copyright claimed and uh, I can't mute the music because my videos ran longer than six hours, so yeah, no more of that. I'll do like um, two, three, four-hour streams. I do that these days. I do double-header streams. I'll stream in the mo on my nights off. I'll stream in the morning for like, like three or four, like three, three or four hours, break off, do another like three or four-hour stream in the afternoon. So I'll do that though. So, but he. he that's the same thing here too. That's why we. It's kind of why I say streaming. Or that's why I say this is a marathon, not a sprint. You gotta stream. You gotta stream consistently. You know. It's more about putting yourself out there. You know. You know, and then consistently doing not just. Oh, in pro wrestling they call it hot shotting, when. You just go all out with the uh, wrestling promotion. A big world wrestling championship extravaganza. Don't miss it. You know, you're just, you're like I said, you're going all out on the advertising and all that. You're, you're trying to make that big epic, epic payoff, I guess if you want to call it that. You know, no, but no, no, it's, it's, you want to do it. You want to do it long and consistently. Gotta go. Stressful monetary part of Twitch streaming behind. Just for fun again. Yep. <laughs> That's one way to look. One way of looking at it. <laughs> um. Or basically, don't overextend yourself. 
might have, I mean, I might have, it might have sound contradictory, considering what I said a few moments ago, you know, marathon, not a sprint, but don't, you want to, you still want to go within your means. I mean, I mean, David Goggins, um, he's a legendary ultra marathon runner. You know, he runs, I think his first ever marathon, he tried to do a 100 mile marathon. He managed to, he managed to run like 80 miles of it, but he didn't, he didn't get those 80 miles by going all out and hauling ass. No, he just basically paced himself. Yeah, that's it. Pace yourself. <laughs> Me, I'm not a, I'm not a big promoter. Again, I don't do, I don't do endorsements, you know, or I don't do promotions, advertising, don't do branding or stuff like that. The most branding that I'll probably do are my thumbnails, but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I've done those, um, I've done short 30, 45 minute streams. They, 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 they don't work. What I might have is zero. Got a lot of views as soon as the time's on. Yep. Yep. Continue posting short form. Yep. Great way to put it. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, it's starting to become more and more of an echo chamber. Just variations on a theme. Things that I had talked about towards the start of this video. Yep. YouTube, Twitter, network, and don't translate well into viewers. Yeah, that's been my experience. Again, you know, may, you know, put, you know, if you need to, put something out there. You know, but don't, don't kill yourself over it. Like, you know, like with, with Twitter. Very rarely will I ever retweet somebody else's post. Very rarely do I actually post anything my own, of my own other than my Final Fantasy XIV blog, and that's it. I don't go crazy overboard. YouTube. Um, I'll export my uh, Twitch videos to YouTube now. Now that I find some, uh, now that I found some music that won't get my videos copyright claimed at least 90% of the time, so I export my Twitch videos to YouTube now. <coughs> Been streaming for a year. I feel like it's um, 1.3. Same here. Up to 15 hours a week to 3 to 6. To 15 hours a week. Um. I'm trying to think. I think I stream. Let me see. Three to. We'll say. Um, we'll go on the low end. Uh, six. So six twenty-four. I'd probably say about thirty. Thirty hours a week. Karen's streaming like a burn, you know. Okay, so yeah, it's yeah, it's an it's an echo chamber. So so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. So, but but anyway, um, thanks for um, thanks for listening and watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I gotta get this video all up. Uh, processed and uploaded and all that good stuff so yeah but once again thanks for all uh, listening and watching and i'll see you all next time bye for now <laughs>